Hey everyone, welcome back to BTM Scale Modeling and the work on the Polar Lights 1 350 Refit Enterprise. It is Friday as I'm doing this introduction video. I haven't been feeling good all week. Um, so I've been not in the studio as much as I want, but I am getting things done. My plan was to actually try to get the secondary hull, hull all the way finished, but like I said, I haven't been feeling good, so I haven't got as much work as I want done. But with that, though, yes, I have uh, gotten things started. So if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and every time I, and click on the bell and every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really much appreciate it. So thank you so much. So with that, guys, let's see what I actually did get accomplished this week. All right. Uh, I've got the, the texture that I want to do. And all I did was flat white and flat black and now I'm going to go back over here in a second as it dries out and do this overall um, do a blending coat of the blue that I that I made up for for this that I liked so don't worry it'll get better I promise so gotta let this dry a bit and then I'll come back to the blending coat then we'll get these masks off and let it get good and dry and then I'll remask and we'll get going on getting the rest of the sauce or secondary hole but um, First, gotta let this dry up a bit. So, I'll show you what it what it looks like when I get her done. All right, now just let it dry. I know it looks, it's it's where I like it. I like that. I like that little bit that texture. What I'm sorry, what the texture does. And when I get it done and put the clear gloss on it, when I start to do the decals, a lot of that Aztec decal will come back up. I'm not decal, but the details will come back up. So, gonna let this dry and. Uh, I think I'm going to get the hanger door spray because even though I have it open, I also want to be able, if I want, I can just put this on and it works out great. So let me uh, show you what I'm going to do with this, guys, and I'll be back. Okay, um, so the shuttle bay door, like I said, I can, I want to be able to add it on, but doing some look at the reference pictures, um, the one that I, I really do like, it's from the studio model, um, Paramount and all that. So um, I'm going to do an aluminum because that's what it really does look like to me. I'm going to do aluminum and then I'm going to do some, uh, remember those color shifters I got guys? I'm going to do like a very, very um, subtle color and I think either um, the one I think is going to be closest to it, not Turbo Vlift Violet, heck no. Um, green and cold blue I think or I like that one but I also like... Gold, pale blue. I think I'm going to actually go with the gold, pale blue, but i got to get this done first. So, yay. And, um, again, it's not very hard, but when you do the Vallejo, if you're using the Vallejo metallics or any of the Vallejo colors, um, especially the ones that are designed for a, an airbrush, you don't need a whole lot, guys. And I do mean you don't need a whole lot. A lot goes a long way. And, yes, you must always... Make sure to keep the tip clean. I try to. So, uh, kind of rambling there, sorry. But again, like I said, I got the airbrush thinner and it, it does help. And you don't have to add very much. I only add like one or two, let's call it three drops. And get it mixed. And then again, like with the metallics or any kind of color when you paint, I don't go up close. I Kind of stay far away. Oops. I kind of stay far away. So I don't oversaturate it or overpaint it. And what I mean by overpainting is sometimes if you're too close, you can do nothing but put globs on it. So, yeah. So as you can see, I kind of stay away and um, I'll do a couple of passes with this. Um, like I said, I don't try to get everything done at once. So, when I get it all the way finished, um, here's, uh, like I said, here's the, the, uh, the aluminum. But when I get the other uh, bit on there, when I start using the color shifter, I'll bring it back and we'll see what it looks like. So, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's been uh, about two and a half hours and um, things are good to point dry that I need to start working on. And I'm going to start working on getting stuff done again on the secondary hull, but I wanted to show you and hopefully you can see that transition a little bit 
but um, like I said I used the aluminum and then I hit it with this color shifter the gold pale blue and it's doing what I want and um, and it's doing exactly what I want so yay but now I gotta let it dry so I can add the wee small decals to it and uh, well I gotta let it dry get the gloss and then I can add the wee small decals and then I'm done with this part so with that guys I'm gonna get back to work all right well that's all masked off again and so now I'm going to start working on getting the Aztec decals down, or not decals, sorry, the Aztec mask down. And um, when I get those all done, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me do those. But when I get them all done, I will, can't wait to show you. So um, I'll see you in a little bit. Well, good morning. It's Thursday. And yeah, um, a little bit behind this week. Had to take care of some things. So, but getting back, and I'm going to get more of the masking I'm gonna to try to get that all done and get started on the paint today um, so if you do go and buy the mask from Aztec dummy um, on the secondary hull sorry let me get this back down here on the secondary hull um, especially right here he definitely states there is um, definitely no actual pattern um, let me read it for you um, these shapes have no bases in canon, so but they're good shapes, and I, I agree with them. I really do like them. I think it's going to bring a lot of detail. But so I'm going to get this finished, and right here I'm t I'm running um, a bit of this um, masking tape on the panel lines to help create that shade in there that I want, um, just to give it a little bit more body. So I'm going to get back to work on this, and then I, s I promise we'll start getting some paint down. So see you in a bit. All right, guys. Um, the top is ready to go. Let me see if I can get this in camera for you. Done. The pylons, the sides, the neck, and the dish. Housing. But um, well, I talked a lot about the saucer masks, uh, Aztec masks. I kind of thought I should share this with you guys because um, one, like I said, I've had these for a long time and. Two, um, when you go get ready to start doing the underneath of the ship, he does provide great mass. But this is for our, for this, and then you got another one for this. But also what he does help give you is a bunch of um, dimensional straight lines. And what you do is, and I'll show you here real quick, is... Um, you're going to use those to fill in some of the gaps and, uh, and I'll show you but one of the things that I'm finding to help do this first is um, I want to get the middle all all done so and then I'll go back but I want to show you this real quick so if you have an older mass sheet like I do one of the first things make one make sure you get a good hobby knife um, exacto and because the sheets old or it's a few years older I'll take the knife and just try to get it up then take your tweezers and I use some blended and because when you get fresh um, masks from Aztec dummy they come off really well with that exacto exacto knife but if you're you know you waited like I did um, one of the best things to do is take your tweezers and just follow that edge the cut edge around and it'll help you bring that all the way off instead of pulling at it and going oh my god why is this not breaking apart just kind of like this guys and just like so so like I said the first thing I wanted to do is I want to get this middle done so I know what I'm gonna to have to exactly how to work best with this and again just like so and um, let's see here. Let's get you. Because the great thing with the sheet, and I'll show you again real quick, is you know where the center line is. So it helps. And then it's just getting in here and doing your spacing that he like he had on the sheet. 
so you can fit everything in to this panel. So one more. Again, like I said, sometimes they come off great and sometimes they're just like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so again, just like I said, just use your tweezers to help pull it off, pull it up. And then like I said, I also use my tweezers to help set it in place. And I'm using the panel line to help match it up. So like that. And so I'm going to get the center done and I'll come back and I'll start showing you how to work the side and how the, because even says it on the, on the instructions here. So these are for the underside, but then he gave you, he gives you these and you can then use them to fill in the areas between the side and the belly. So I will share that with you when I start on that, but let me get the middle done and let me get the rest of them on because let me show you real quick and I'll explain what I mean because what I did is the way he's doing it is so this is the first decal sheet or this first block right here so I got this one on the edge and I got this on the edge so these four are gonna fit in this area so I'm gonna do that and then just keep going and then do other little tweaks but yeah and I will show you because sometimes it's like oh my gosh and then you're looking at this and you're trying to figure out what to do and I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'm sorry if it's morning out so let me get the middle done and let me get the sides on and then we'll start worrying about this right here and oh yes I also did one part of the lower pylon um, well the lo this lower pylons done on the starboard side so I'm gonna keep working on this and uh, when I get uh, when I get more to show and when we start doing the doing the masking lines I will bring that up and see how because it'll be the first time I've actually done that too so I'll be back all right guys um, I'm sorry like I said this is my first time doing mask when this show um, basically the mask that I'm showing they all go right here into these panels then the straight lines masks you can fill in here on this part from there down but these that I'm working on that I was showing you first and I thought it was supposed to be over here actually goes right into the belly so let me get those uh, let me get these finished up and then we'll start looking at how to make it look a little bit better with those lines so I will see you guys in a bit it is Friday morning and getting back to work on the refit as I always say every day so this is what I was talking about doing um, got my camera on a little thing so I wanted to talk about these where I found the reference and where in the instructions you know he says I provide mass to do these lining so this is a picture of the studio scale um, refit enterprise that was Paramount did and I want to show you this so I'm gonna to go to edit so as you guys can see there's these panel lines um, sorry let me put this here there's the panel lines um, and I like that I really do I think it's gonna it does a lot but the the, the thing um, there's two ways to think about how to do this one you can do the masks like this or something that I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go ahead and engrave or scribe out these panel lines um, to match with everything else. Um, so that's my plan today is to get these done and we'll see how far that gets going. But this is what I was talking about guys is these panel lines. And the great thing is you can tell right here by the Arboretum there is, this is like one whole section. So you don't have to worry about doing those. But yeah, this is what I'm working on and as you can see there's different sizes so let me show you my idea with that on the actual kit so give me a second and I'll be right back all right so as you guys can see I started doing these panel lines um, great idea but uh, I want to try something else something I've been getting as I, I've been learning how to do and get hopefully getting better at it and I'm gonna use it on the on the enterprise but um, you guys have seen me use this before. This is a scriber. 
and it's a queen hobby scriber and I really really do like it. Um, I'm gonna go in and do do that to this to this belly. Over here, let's see if I can get that in there for you. I have done measurements. Um, I'm going every quarter of an inch back here and then I'm trying to recreate what you saw on the picture up here too. Um, so I just gotta I'm gonna put a little tick mark on these guys and then go from there and I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side squared away too. But uh, looking at the picture you can actually it, it's part of you know like the detail here the panel lines that you, you, you can see on the mold. So I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna do it on this. So one, have a good scraper like this or the Tamiya scraper and the other thing um, that I get it's called model hard edge tape it's this stuff and what it does is you can lay it down where you want to scribe at and it'll keep you you know you can do one on one side one on the other or you do one and you hold your scriber against that and you can do that line so give me a second let me get the measurements finished and I'll start working with this and show you how that works guys so be right back okay so I have done some I was trying out and let's see if I can get this up on better view there you go I started these um, I like it really it is really really awesome but I'll tell you thing as you can see some of the primers coming up and then also if you don't get this hard tape edge hard tape down tight you know not compressed tight but just get tapped down especially on this part right here sorry especially right here after that panel to here it likes to wave and if it does that then it's gonna start jumping around so um, try to do let me reset the camera so I can help give you a better visual on how I do this instead of it being on this spot so give me one second okay hopefully this will do well so like I said you can tell it's starting to pull some of the primer up or the the second um, base color I did and that's easy to redo because I'm gonna run a little bit of um, I'm not gonna stick hard masking or strong adhesive I'm just gonna redo the edges around here and actually I really don't even have to do that because it's all still the same color except for underneath um, so that's fine but also another thing I did try to do is I tried to reuse the strips and the more I did it um, some of them it brought up paint and it just and once there's paint on that these things do not like to play well so with this technique that I'm trying rescribing and making new panel lines like I said I get that knife against the tape and that's my guide and you can see I'm not going very hard at all but again like I said you gotta make sure that tape doesn't try to start bowing on you and make sure you get the model where it's easy to work with so And like I said, you can see I'm not doing a whole lot of pressure. And don't worry guys, because I will re-sand, lightly sand these back down. But, let me bring that out so when I do that you can see. So there's that one. Then again, like I said, it's just nice, delicate pressure. You don't even, you, you just want to ride that edge. You don't want to push real hard because if you, you push hard on it, then it's definitely going to start bowing that tape. But... So like I said, I just kind of find the edge, and then my first pass is really, really, um, what it is, it's just getting it there, scribing it down a little bit, so that the knife now has a bit of an edge. Let's get it out there. So it has a, it has a trench, best way to say it. It has that trench to, to follow, like so, and... Let me get these off so you guys can see those. So like I said, you can see it definitely likes to pull up pull up that primer or that base, that secondary base coat. And because this hard tape is very, very um, sticky. So like I said, I, I won't have a problem. I'll make sure to get those remasked. And I'm trying to pull as light as I can. But as you guys can see, yes, it does... Uh, create some issues but that's okay because I'll resand it down and then I'll get that reprimed easy enough so again now that now we're working on this part of the panel like I said just find it and just you know 
don't push hard against the tape just and get the kit to where it's easier for you and just get that first initial scribe down and then you can go back and etch it a little bit deeper like so and again and you'll be able to tell if that you push and that tape starts to bow because you can see it and maybe it's you're putting a little too much pressure or not but there so one more and then I'm gonna finish it and I'll show you what it looks like even with all the missing um, secondary coat but again I find it and just I very like I said very lightly I just start my line and then I go back a couple of times just ever so slight of more pressure let the tool do the work and there you go so I'm gonna get this finished and I will share with you what this side looks like and I'll get working on the other give me a few seconds guys a few minutes okay so this side's done and I've gone ahead and I've taken my 3000 grit sandpaper um, and just um, doing a light sanding getting up where that paint started to peel and bulk you know bubble up and then um, like I said I'll go back and hit this with the coat of primer again and then do my pre-shading on this and then get the the next um, level of there on there but with that guys I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna work on getting this side done and get the masking I gotta finish to show you that real quick guys started on sorry started on the tail getting that finished got all that done but I want to get this this done because it kind of became a new project and something I saw so I'm gonna get this squared away and then um, go from there so I'll see you guys in a little bit all right so now I'm gonna get this get the paint back on this but key takeaway um, if you decide to do this scribe or you know scribe in the panel like I did um, don't wait till you get the whole kit together uh, you know like I said some things I'm learning as I go but because um, this is a piece the top's a piece the middle and then the bottom is just a piece so all you have is this right here to work with and um, because like I said this this uh, hard hard line tape is very adhesive um, it's gonna pull things up so with that guys if you want to do like this like I did or you got a better way to do it um, like I said wait till don't wait till you get everything together and already you know got one thing of paint on because you'll do just like I did and yes I have to just sanding it back making sure everything's ready to go so there we go guys so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get the um, I'm gonna get <clears throat> the base color back on and get that drying and um, we'll see where I'm at like I said I haven't been feeling good so I might take a little bit of a break but while that dries because I still have to go in and do the um, get the accent um, well let me think here probably what I need to do first is go ahead and just do my do my black um, my pre-shading detail and then go back with the, the the base coat that's probably what I'm gonna do so with that like I said let me get this squared away and then and don't worry if there's a little black on other areas that's fine because like I said um, what's masked is what I'm keeping and then what then I'm put that the next color onto that so let me uh, let's get let me get that squared away and um, I'll be back so I'll see you guys in a bit all right well I've got the, the base color I want back on there and then yes I'm gonna have to sand this down a little bit because you can definitely tell that it's still picking up some of that where that tape picked up some of that paint so I got to go in and make sure to get that off but um, I'm gonna wet sand that so I don't lose a lot of the a lot of that so get that done but here's the other side and let me keep it in camera for you so um, I gotta let this get good and dry before I do any of that and even before I put mask on so I'm at least going to get the mask finished on here and 
um, see if I can get a little bit more paint on before I have to call a day because like I said I haven't been feeling good so let's see what I can get done so I'll be back okay so I'm going to try to put some more paint down and what I'm gonna start first is a deflector uh, the rest of the deflector dish housing and um, the, the tape off is to keep the, the new base color I got down and um, so I don't get any of this on there because I don't have the mask yet. I'm not worried about up here. Um, but I don't want the gray that I'm going to do for here to spill over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I know there's blues and silvers and all that, but I'm going to go um, and just do a light and a dark gray and that's it. I'm not going to do any texturing after this once these the, this next layer is on that's it and because if you look at the deflector dish housing it's very distinct it's very very there so I'm gonna go with the light sea gray XF 22 and um, I did a little test spot and I like the difference so I'm gonna do that <clears throat> so with that guys when I get the this done I will share with you all right masks are off I do have one fix I got to do right here, um, but that's all right. I can take care of that and then just some little touch-ups, but let you guys see that. So, yeah, very, I like it. Um, then when I go to do, you know, the overall blending coat of everything with the white, it'll take care. Um, I definitely like this. I might... This is a, the the um, Vallejo gray, the light the the Vallejo primer gray, um, and as you can tell, it almost looks white, which is a good thing because you know overall, um, it's gonna do a lot more than I, you know that I really wanted to do, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it, so it gives me that nice little contrast here on the dish. Like I said, I gotta fix that, that, and then. After this gets dry, I got like I said, I gotta sand it, and then I gotta finish doing that. But like like I said earlier, um, I haven't been feeling well, so I need to um, take a break. So I'm gonna end the video here for this week. I know it's really shorter than what I usually do, and um, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'm starting to feel better. But I need need to rest a little bit more. Um, so with that, guys. Have a great weekend, have an awesome week, and I will see you guys next week on the bench when I do, honestly, as long as I'm feeling a lot better than I have this week, I'm going to get this um, finished paint, get things done, and get decals on, and that way we can go ahead and start getting, um, oh, get the, the lower saucer on, and then get finished up on the work on the nacelles, but yeah, that's my plan as far as next week, as long as I don't... Uh, don't start feeling bad again. So, like I said, have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you next time, next week on the bench.